What's up guys, Tao here. So you just got your brand new OnePlus Nord. I'm sure you cannot wait to use it. But before that, you want to transfer some files to the new phone. So today, let's go through the quick setup steps along with transferring some data. So let's get to it. Okay, now the phone is out of the box. Let's just go through step by step with the OnePlus software transfer. And let's go through that. We're gonna select uh, UK and the start. And uh, agree, I'll have to agree, otherwise we cannot use the phone. And you do experiment, blah, 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 blah. And no, thank you. Connect to a mobile network. Now here, I am going to uh, connect to, no, I'm not, we'll do it later. And we are going to select the Wi-Fi and you guys please look away. Okay, look away please. Thank you very much for looking away. Okay, here we connect. And hopefully it's gonna connect. Uh, yes, connected. Checking for updates, updates. Hopefully there won't be any, so we can just go through the steps. And it should be preloaded with um, Android 10. Here we go, copy apps and data. And we are definitely gonna copy them. And a backup from Android phone, a backup from the cloud, an iPhone device. Okay, let's just go to the iPhone. And now on your iPhone, open Safari. Okay, let's uh, Android. Uh, dot com and switch go all right okay so switch is easier than ever uh, now let's just see step one get google drive okay so essentially what it asking to do is transfer the photo to i to Google Drive, uh, or Google, use Google Photo rather. So first download Google Drive to your iOS device and sign in with your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can create one now, blah, blah, blah. If you're already blah, blah, blah. Download Google Drive, I have a Google Drive there. Back up your content. Uh, once you are in Google Drive, open backup and a wizard by selecting menu, setting, and backup, choose the content that you want to backup or simply backup everything by clicking start backing up. And do 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 see all of your new Android. Okay. Now let's just go to the I no no I uh, Google Drive and let's open Google Drive. I have here and then Go to, go to where? And Google Drive, setting and the backup. Setting and the backup. Now, backup the Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive email or my Gmail. And I can backup content. I can backup calendar. I can backup photos and videos. Now, in terms of the photo and the videos, it will back up to Google Photos. So I personally recommend uh, you do that before switching the phone. So all the pictures are gonna go to um, Google Drive, uh, Google Drive, uh, Google Photo. So you don't have to wait around it. Um, back up to Google Calendar. Now, essentially, the calendar is linked to your Gmail. So that is pretty straightforward and back up to Google Contact. That's also pretty straightforward. So it looks like um, it's gonna go through the cloud backup. You know what, let's just go ahead. Uh, let's just start backing up and click on backup. So I would like to access your contacts. Okay, fine. Calend access calendar. Okay, fine. Uh, only, okay, fine. So now, is actually backing up to my uh, Gmail or my Google Drive and my Google Photo. Now, depending how much you have on your existing phone, uh, that could take 
a long time or for my instance that should not because I've been backing up along the way already and uh, let's see on the OnePlus is it still on uh, yep still on now on there let's just tap next see what happens and it's checking and it's checking so now here ask me to sign in to my Google account which is my Gmail and let me sign in now it's asking me if I sign in or not yes go back to Google Drive now I am signed in so this is all the services is linked to my Gmail account and yeah that's me so I'm in and I agree so now so okay that will transfer my backup from the iPhone anything linked to my Gmail and uh, will go to Google Drive and photos will go to uh, Google Photo now this actually is quite straightforward um, and I accept and now choose your search provider I will be using Google and the next OnePlus co-creator user program blah 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 no I will skip it for now if you want to you can do it later how to use fingerprint now this essentially is got end screen fingerprint and we are going to do that later if, but if you want you can do it now we'll skip for now automatically and then now we're gonna password you can create a four digit password and or you have different options you can use pattern you can use pin you can use password and for now we're gonna skip and skip anyway continue setup and yes let's just continue see what happens and seems like this is the Google service right now so let it just go next access with your voice no so that essentially if you say okay Google or okay I will give you the Google services um, now this we're gonna skip and let's see the next screen so now essentially that's it um, you can see is really really straightforward now the key point is your Gmail account if you have a Gmail account everything is gonna be quite straightforward if you don't have one at the very beginning it will keep reminding you create a, a Gmail that means Google account uh, because a lot of things actually is everything is linked to your Google account so in that case in the near future if you do lose your phone or if you change your phone upgrade your phone everything is linked to your Gmail so very much like the uh, iPhone so Apple ID or iCloud uh, again uh, everything is linked to that just in case in the future you want to change your phone or lost your phone you can still retrieve it and for this purpose it's just very very easy to transfer just use the default we're going to go next uh, navigation and gestures now this actually is very very similar to the Apple gesture now if you prefer the traditional Android buttons back and home so I believe most of your Android users will prefer that but I personally actually prefer this because I'm so used to with the iPhone gestures so therefore I'll be choose that and I will next and your search provider is Google and next most master full screen gesture three steps oh okay so this actually will give you a short uh, tutorial on how to use the gestures um, from the left to right that's the back uh, very similar to the iPhone and from the bottom to up as go home as like the iPhone and if you swipe and stop it will show you reason the apps that <laughs> exactly like iPhone so let's just go start if I go up like that yay well done now if I go up okay let's go home 
Now, if you want to go to the, it's essentially the same as on the iPhone is app switcher. You go up and stop. Now that is your apps. Now here we go. Setup complete. Now essentially this is it. So all the rest of content will automatically pull off the cloud. So that's to the uh, pull up from the Google Drive. And I mean that that's it. In terms of music, um, if you do purchase Apple Music, unfortunately you're gonna either go through the computer, go through the Mac, and then you can upload to uh, Google Music through the app, and then you can stream on your OnePlus. Um, otherwise, I mean, there's no really other way unless you use third-party software to transfer from one to the other. So now, I personally think if you do want to switch to Android, do want to switch to OnePlus, and if you are not heavily integrated within the iCloud ecosystem, so that's fine. You probably don't have Apple Music. You probably don't have iCloud Photo. So that is going to be quick and easy. If you read really into the um, Apple ecosystem, for example, Apple Watch, if you do have our Apple Watch, it will not work on the Android device. So just bear in mind, in terms of the services and the way of using and your system, like ecosystem, is going to be completely changed. So think before you do it. All right, now the transfer is, is done. iPhone's job is finished. You can safely put your iPhone away into a drawer maybe somewhere, keep it safe. Now let's concentrate on this OnePlus. Just in case you missed first setup, and now there is a second way from OnePlus themselves. There is an app called the OnePlus Switch. Now this is the OnePlus way for you to switch from another, one device to another. So this is a, a new phone, I'm a new phone, and I'm coming from iPhone, switch from iPhone, and now this is asking you to sign in to your Apple ID, and I will just do that. Okay, now I have put my password in. Now, as you can see from here, it's essentially trying to get the contacts, contacts and the photos from your iCloud. Now, because all of them, they are synced to your iCloud, uh, if you are signing to your Apple ID on your iPhone. Now this essentially, you can see uh, photos. Now this is essentially trying to pull down the photos from iCloud photo library. Now if you have that enabled, um, it will try to get all the photos from there and context. Now the context is linked to your Apple ID anyway, that is not a big deal. Now if you do have a lot of photos in your iPhoto library, that is gonna take a long time for this thing to come across. And yeah, that's it. That's the option to give you. Now, if you tap on importing, and that will automatically transfer everything over. Now, because we've done at the very, very beginning, so we are not going to do that again. So just in case we've got duplicate data, and we are going to stop this. So it's done. All right, so what have we learned from the setup? Um, if you do decide to switch for whatever reason to a Android device, I'm assuming you don't have too much to transfer. Uh, there are probably some old um, pictures, some contacts and emails. That is pretty much it. So for that instance, it's quite straightforward. Now, if you do have a lot of stuff transfer from the old iPhone to the new OnePlus or the Android, now be prepared, be patient. So especially photos, is it going to take a long time to upload to Google Drive? And also if your internet is not too good. And also I personally strongly suggest you be prepared in advance. So get a Gmail account. So a lot of the uh, content can be linked to your Gmail account. For example, photos and contacts. Uh, if you do have some other files, you can use Google Drive. Now, one thing, noted that uh, WhatsApp message or history, uh, you cannot transfer WhatsApp history unless you use third-party software. There are some software allow you to do that. So because iPhone or iOS use iCloud as a backup, uh, OnePlus, Google, uh, Android use a Google Drive as a backup. So there's no way for you to kind of interchange in between them. So unfortunately, that is the case. Another thing to remember that if you do have Apple Watch and you transfer to Android, 
Now the Apple Watch will not be functional at all. Simply Apple Watch will not work on the Android devices. Now the apps. Um, although the apps will not be transferred over, and uh, most of them you can re-download from the Google Play Store, and then you can just download them again, and use the same credential to log in if requires login. Now, music, if you do use Apple Music on your iPhone, fortunately, you can use Apple Music on your Android device as well, and you can download Apple Music. So you can use the same credential and to listen or to stream your Apple Music. Here we go, and then you can install that as well. All right, that's been it. Hopefully you guys found this video useful and you enjoyed the video. And if you liked the video, uh, click on the like and share with others. And see you guys in the next video.